Hello, Bree James here, co-founder of Smallville with the mayor, Mr. Andrew Griffiths. The other co-founder. Just to clarify that. <laughs> In case you were confused yeah. by this co-founder thing. Uh, okay, we came up with Smallville. We're responsible. We hope you love it. We're irresponsible. Irresponsible. We came up with Smallville. <laughs> Almost a thousand articles on Smallville. Articles, videos, all kinds of things. Hundred plus contributors. We're really, really proud of it. In case you can't tell. So we're going to talk to you about measuring progress. So for us with Smallville, mm. you know, measuring progress for us is what he just said, having those thousands mm. of articles on there, having so many contributors, how many hits we get a week on the, on the site, uh, our, views, yeah. yeah, engagement on social media. There's so many ways to, to measure progress. You, you know, in business, one of the challenges that we can have is often it does start to feel like Groundhog Day. Sure same, same, doing all the same kind of thing. Mm. It's like, you know, many of us have been in business for a long time and the bank account hasn't got any bigger. And yeah. we're kind of going, well, I seem to be working harder, but there's still no money left at the end of the month. And, uh, and it can be a little bit soul destroying at times. I'm a really big believer that we need to measure progress in our business. And, and progress can be measured in different ways. Sure, your bank account is one, but it's not the be all and end all no. in, in reality. To me, it, it's, it's about being able to measure progress from where you are. So, you know, you're in magazines, you've been in magazines for 10 years. Mm. What was your first magazine cover like? It was, I don't think it was that bad. It was horrible. <laughs> but, but if you look at your magazine covers now, so Bree's a custom publisher, a parenting magazine in particular called PacMag, you have a great look and feel for your magazine. You've done 200 and how many editions? Oh, about 300 editions. 300 editions, 2.5 million magazines printed. So she's got this wonderful trail of progress. Imagine all those covers just to flick through them all and to see how you've evolved. There's some really awful ones. Some awful getting, ones, but there's some wonderful there's ones. There's some wonderful ones as well. And it's the same with your logos, like looking back on oh, old logos, oh, yeah. looking back on the first Websites. Book, your first manuscript, maybe. Andrew. My first manuscript was terrible. So, you know, I've got a dozen books that I've written. The first manuscript I wrote is horrendous. I always say it looked like it was written by a drunken, dyslexic, you know, one eyed, heroin addicted chimpanzee. You know, like it, it, it is. Maybe it was. It, it, it kind of was. And I will never show another human being that manuscript because it's so bad. But every once in a while, I kind of read it because it lets me go, wow, I, I've really come a long way. Absolutely. You know, I'll look at, we're talking about slides. Slide decks. Oh um, my gosh. Bree just found her, one of her first slide decks from seven or eight years ago, which I'm looking forward it's to. The worst thing I've ever seen. Because it, again, just show how far you've come. In business, because we're on this kind of roller coaster ride and this groundhog day, if we're not careful, we have to somehow learn how to measure progress. So it is about keeping records, it's about taking photos, it's about kind of doing a timeline, even like in your office or where you have a timeline on the wall of kind of all the little milestones. What did you do? When did you start the business? When did you get your first employee? When did you get your first check? Framing your first check was something I did used to do all the time. Um, it's all of those little things that then turn around and go, okay, I'm making, I'm getting better. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Um, and if you don't measure progress, to be honest, you know, I think that actually hinders your progress as mm -hmm. well. Because if you can't measure it, you can't manage it is the old kind of line. And uh, if we can measure our progress, well, we can kind of turn around and go, okay, well, we've come along way in that period of time. I think there's nothing worse than when you look back in a, a year before and you go, it's just a blur. It, there aren't really kind of clear steps that say how I've progressed. And you do forget. So, you know, there's a yeah. thing that Andrew does is have an, a success board in his office. So all it is is a whiteboard, he gets post-it notes, and every time he has a great success, he puts it up on the note board. So he does it on the 1st of January, and then at the end of the year, he can sit there and he can look at all of his amazing successes for the year. And I've got photographs of the last 10 years worth of success boards. And you forget them all. I'm amazed. If I look back, if, and so if I'm having a tough day, you know, it's like I maybe I haven't done what I needed to do and I'm feeling a little bit like, you know, not a happy day in your business. Mm. I look at my success boards and, and one photo, even just last year's, and I tell you what, I've forgotten 90% of the things on there. Yeah. And you look at it and go, well, I can't believe we did all of that stuff. Mm. And that, that again, is this incredible measure of progress. You know, however you do it, whatever you do, it, it's up to you, but there has to be some way that you measure progress. Absolutely. Whether it's a box with old brochures and mm. stuff like that, printouts of old websites, whatever it might be, you have to have some way of saying, this is how I measure progress. And, uh, and I'm, I'm getting better. You know, I, I'm, my business is getting better. We're getting more successful. We're, we're getting the hang of it. You know, all of those kind of things. I think if you can do that, uh, a great deal will change in your business. 
so there That's you have it. it so there you go go and uh, our challenge to you is start measuring your progress start a success board a success book uh, a, a clipping success, thing you know yeah, a, stuff. a b box that you put all your trinkets and stuff uh, in there have a look at it take five minutes and have a look at it and yeah. give yourself a pat on the back even you know another thing that I found really cool is actually if you've got some clients maybe that you've had for a long time ask them now, if you've had someone who's been buying stuff off you for 10 years, ask them, how have I changed in the last 10 years? Mm -hmm. How's our business changed in the last 10 years? You know, Sounds they'll, a bit needy, but yeah, sure. It is a bit needy, <laughs> but, but so, you know, I, I want to kind of know I'm, that I'm we're needy, growing. I'm needy, I need you to reassure me <laughs> that you feel like I've improved in the last 10 years. Just say that, would be awesome. Oh, it says more about me than anyone <laughs> else. So, thank you for listening. On that note. Thanks for being on Smallville. Oh, stop talking. It's embarrassing. <laughs> and um, thanks for enjoying the site. We'll see you next time. Thanks, folks. She's a monster. See ya. <laughs>